Okay, this is a pan shot of the city of Kyiv, the largest city in Ukraine and its capital. This is the Dnieper River. We actually just left a uh, water museum about one block away and learned that uh, this river is, uh, because of all the pesticides and industrial waste in it, that Ukraine has the world's third dirtiest water and that 25% of Ukrainians either uh, die or get sick from the water here every year. Um, anyways, I just want to give you an update on what happened today at the U.S. Embassy. We're uh, kind of wondering right now what God's doing, thinking and praying about what our next move is going to be, if I'm going to be going to the U.S. or not. Um, we came up on Tuesday. We had several documents about uh, round-trip plane tickets, letters, enrollment in the university, our affiliation with the missions agency we're with, and um, uh, lots of other things too. And uh, so. Anyways, we wanted to prove that we were just going to America for a visit and to come back. And she began talking to the gentleman there, the consular officer, and he just asked her, well, why would somebody stop being a fisherman and uh, become a missionary at 35 years old? Well, I guess the question probably kind of stumped her because why does anyone do anything at 35 years old? People become missionaries at 40, 50, and 60 years old. And she answered the question that it's just what we want to do right now and that we just finished a missionary training center and we're working with our church here in Odessa but apparently that wasn't good enough. Uh, so we left and we felt like well hey we're telling the truth we have valid documentation we should go back and try one more time. We went home we got a couple more documents we got um, my Bible college degree we got my an invitation letter from my father with a copy of his birth certificate in the United States we got a request from our church uh, stating that our internship start beginning in July through December, which would guarantee our return here. The letter from my dad said that he took personal responsibility that we would return here to Ukraine. And we went through all this work gathering all this documentation. And not to mention that we had to pay $150 twice just for their interview. And so she goes in and uh, we're, we're really ready. She's really ready this time, you know. We thought through everything, had everything ready. She went up to the same guy and he said, well, I can't work with you today. I have to give you to somebody else. So she goes up to this lady and the lady, right off the bat, is very rude, extremely rude. Um, hardly giving her the time of day. He says, why are you come back here? You were just here on Tuesday. Has anything changed? And the lady explains, oh yes, I have more documents and I want to explain more clearly what it is that we're doing as missionaries and uh, the lady basically just cut her off, didn't let her finish talking and, um, and she said, well what are you doing? And as she did this, she's already pushing the button to put up the paper. She didn't talk to her for even one minute. So we're praying, they say that you pay $150 or 140 whatever it is for the interview and not for the visa, but for what? To get treated? like that and uh, to not even have one minute to look at a single document. She asked her, well, can I show you these documents? The lady said, no, uh, it could be falsification. It doesn't matter. And so what's the point of them having us gather all of these documents? It it's, makes no sense. And so um, then she said, well, you can check it. You can check it that these are valid documents. The lady said, no, I don't want to. Go exactly what she said in Russian. She said, no, I don't want to go. So what I'm wondering is, how do you appeal these? How do, who polices the consular offices, officers who can go to other countries and pe treat people like they're worthless? It's, uh, there's really got to be somebody that you can talk to or something that you say. Anyway, so we're praying about what we're going to do next. Uh, if I'm going to be going to the States at all, we think our, my plane tickets in my, are, are non-refundable. Might be able to have credit towards a future flight or something, and so we're just praying for what the best decision to make is at this point.